Hello and welcome to another episode of The 250. I'm your host, Frank Soldado, here taking you with me on my journey through the IMDb Top 250 Films list. We've got the seventh film coming up in The 250, and it is the 1953 American classic, Roman Holiday. So the film stars Gregory Peck as a reporter and Audrey Hepburn as a princess of some kind, or so I'm told. It is another film that I've not seen. So originally, at the Academy Awards, the film won Best Writer for um, Ian Hunter. This was actually a film that people will know now was written by Dalton Trumbo, who was famous for being blacklisted for being thought of as a communist back in the day. He was part of the Hollywood Tea Party incident. Join me after the film and uh, you get my opinions, thoughts, and I'll rank it in my 250. <laughs> So there we go, Roman Holiday, film number 244 on the IMDb Top 250 Films list. Pretty good! Pretty good film! Gregory Peck plays an American news reporter, Joe. Audrey Hepburn plays Princess Anne. And Princess Anne has been on this Goodwill Ambassador tour of Europe. And now she's in Rome, because it's called Roman Holiday. The film actually makes a point of letting you know that the film was shot entirely in Rome, Italy. Uh, which it was the first film to do so. Princess Anne, after all her duties one day, she's just she's just had enough. She has a bit of a breakdown because, you know, she's this young girl, yet every minute of her life is just scheduled uh, to the second. Like, she's got no time to live her life. She starts sort of freaking out, spazzing out a bit. Call the doctors in, and the doctors drug her up with some sort of horse tranquilizer or something. She decides, I've had enough. I'm out of this place. I'm done. Bye. See ya. Escapes the palace under the cover of darkness. So then we meet Joe and uh, he's playing some cards with some guys and he's just gonna go home. Bumps in to Princess Anne who's just knocked out on some Roman street. Push comes to shove, they both go back to Joe's apartment, spend the night, not in a bad way, not in a sexy way. Joe goes off to work. He realizes that this girl that he has is the princess. He's got this story no one else has and he can make some money off of this. Eventually, Prince Anne comes round, Joe plays off like he doesn't know who she is, and so she takes the opportunity to just say, oh, all right, I'm gonna go, see you, thanks for helping me out last night. She takes off, they meet up again, and they spend the day together. They go on what would one refer to as a Roman holiday. Eh? Throughout the film, they get to know each other, they, they see the city, they have fun. They're both sort of using each other to gain things for themselves. Joe is gaining a story, and she's gaining the freedom that she's craved all this time. Throughout the course of the day, I mean, what do you think happens? They sort of, they sort of fall for each other. Things keep going on, there's a lot of funny bits, and it leads up to the ending, which obviously I'm not going to spoil for you here, but what was good about it? I've not experienced a lot of Audrey Hepburn in my day, especially the classics, and she is, she's just charming. She just brings this presence to the screen. She sort of lights it up. And Gregory Peck, you know, he's Gregory Peck. This is a bad Gregory Peck impression. There's generally one of the best, funniest punches in film history in this film. You might just have to watch it right now up in the corner because like, this thing is hilarious. <laughs> the guy cocks back like this. Or it's not even a cock. The guy sort of stands with his fist like this. And without even a cock, he's just like, Tuh! Really, a very entertaining film. I mean, I audibly lol during this film. Uh, like, that doesn't happen a lot with me. I also don't say lol that much in normal conversations. Where do I rank it? It, it's so, it, it, is, it is another film that started low and kept climbing up higher with the runtime. All I want to do is show it to other people who haven't seen it. Isn't this like a lovely story? Isn't this uplifting? In a time now where everything is so shit, ranking-wise, I'm gonna put it above Beauty and the Beast, but below Paris, Texas. So Roman Holiday safely gets in there at the new number three slot on my 250 list. So we are now seven films in. Join me next week for film number 243 on the IMDb's top 250 list. I'm looking forward to watching another movie next week and seeing where it's gonna sit on my 250. We'll see you then. If you're looking for some other stuff to watch on YouTube, and I know sometimes that could be daunting, we've got you covered. Check out these videos. They're some of Filmageddon's finest, I guarantee it. Um, and while you're at it, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, because we're going to be putting out these two fiddies every week, and all the additional great Filmageddon content. Hey.